Romans turned to one cult in particular that would change the empire and the world forever. The dramatic rise of Christianity in the Roman world would change everything, especially because a cult based on the suffering of one man challenged the integrity of an entire empire. Christianity's most revolutionary ideal was spiritual equality. It was a direct threat to Rome's belief in hierarchy and social division. They couldn't absorb Christianity because it will not allow you to sacrifice to other gods. In particular, Christianity involves the rejection of the cult of the emperor. And because the cult of the emperor is virtually the only way in which the whole empire can express its unity, this is very disruptive. A protest movement was quickly gaining momentum. Christianity's popularity posed a fundamental threat to the Roman way of life. By the middle of the third century, Rome was consumed by doubt. As chaos and confusion racked the empire, everyone began questioning the benefits of Roman rule. Between 235 and 270, more than 30 Roman generals proclaimed themselves emperor. The civil war broke out as legion fought legion, each trying to install its general as emperor. Anarchy grew. Romans yearned for one of the great emperors of the past to take control. Julius Caesar, an Augustus, a Hadrian. They wondered how their great empire could have fallen to such a shameful state of affairs. Some believed it was the long-awaited fulfillment of the Sibylline Oracles, a series of apocalyptic prophecies that had haunted Rome for centuries. But there was nothing mystical about the chaos during this century. The empire had become unmanageable because the emperors could no longer cope with the monster that Rome had become. 